Hello everyone. I'm Ashwin Kulkarni, welcoming you all in this quantum computing learning journey. I hope we all are doing well and learning something new every day. I apologize for the delay uh, that this video uh, is coming out very lately uh, compared to the last ones because uh, it was my some person stuff is going in the ba- ba- behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, I'm back with the another video. So uh, in the last video, we have seen the single qubit gates uh, of X, Y, Z Pauli gates. Now in this video, we are again continuing with the single qubit gate, but a special one where uh, with the help of that, the superposition uh, happens and all that buzz around the quantum computers, which is the superposition. Uh, uh, this, this particular gate is the basis of that, which is Hadmard gate or H gate. So in this video, we are going to talk about that and we are going to learn about uh, more about it. So let's get started. So since the beginning, we have been talking about the superposition state in the quantum computing. Now what is very special about it and how to make your uh, normal state to a superposition state? Uh, that's what we are going to see in this uh, uh, in this part. So. A superposition state where your quantum, uh, your very qubit can be into a multiple state by uh, having a different probabilities of uh, being into uh, different states. So the Hadamard gate is the basic gate useful for the superposition operation. Uh, now, why, how Hadamard gate is important because uh, your basic state zero or basic state one will get transformed to a superposition state uh, by by applying Hadamard gate to it. And that's why it is getting used widely into quantum systems where the superposition is the crux of it. And uh, that's why Hadamard gate is very, very important uh, in this whole journey. Now, the Hadamard gate is denoted by H. So wherever in the, uh, either in IBM quantum lab or wherever you see the H, uh, symbol in the quantum circuit that represents the Hadamard gate and as I already explained that it creates the equal superposition when applied on the gate 0 and gate 1. So equal superposition as in it will be in the state 0 and 1 uh, with the equal probability. Now the Hadamard gate is uh, defined by 1 by root 2 of 1 1 uh, 1 and minus 1. So this will be a 2 cross 2 matrix, same as x, y, z, Pauli gate, how we have defined. Similarly, the Hadamard gate uh, will get uh, defined. Now, as uh, I already explained, your zero gate uh, will get transitioned into the uh, state 1 uh, and state 0. And similarly, by, by applying the Hadamard gate, and similarly, your state 1 will get transitioned to state 0 and 1. So what that means is when applying Hadamard gate to your state 0, it will get superpositioned to some other state where it will be in the state 0 as well as in the state 1. And similarly, by applying Hadamard gate on the state 1, qubit having state 1, then it will get, uh, uh, it will get again uh, transitioned to state 0 and state 1 at the same time. Now, uh, how uh, how this happens is, you know, when you apply Hadamard gate on the zero state, so mathematically we are going to see the scenario. So this is the Hadamard gate equation, right? As you already seen. Now this is the uh, zero gate uh, zero gate matrix. Uh, so when when uh, so this is the gate matrix. When this gets applied, uh, so this one will get multiplied with this one and this one will get zero. So that's why you see the one by root two uh, here. And similarly, this one will get multiplied with the first one and minus one will get multiplied with zero will get canceled out. So you can again see the one by root two. Now the first one by root two represents the state uh, zero and the second one represents the state one. Having the amplitudes as one by root two, one by root two, hence the probabilities will be square of these amplitude. Hence the probabilities of uh, are 1 by 2. So that means this particular superposition state is 50% in the 
qubit state 0 and 50% in the state 1. And that's why this plus state is the special superposition state um, having the equal superpositions uh, uh, of 0, uh, equal superpositions having into 0 and 1 state. Similarly, you can try it out the mathematical multiplication when H get, uh, gets applied on the uh, quantum state 1. And the output will be 1 by root 2, uh, uh, 1 by root 2 of state 0 and 1 by root 2 of state 1 with the uh, with the reverse phase angle. So that's why this is another special superposition state. So these two are superposition states uh, when we apply Z, uh, head mark gate on 0 and 1 respectively. Now the special property of Hadmard gate is uh, it shows the destructive interference. So what is interference is um, basically it can amplify uh, the different state to make uh, some newer state. So it can amplify uh, amplify the input state to uh, to make the some other uh, new state or it can disamplify the states by subtracting uh, each other. So the destructive interface means it will get uh, so different states will get cancelled out different similar states with um, with some opposite properties will uh, get cancelled out. So Hadmard gate shows the destructive interference on uh, uh, on phase um, uh, on on qubit state zero and one in different scenarios. So now. Uh, from the first video or second video, I, I uh, already explained that this special property of quantum gates are it is reversible. So that means from the output state, you can still get back the input state. Unlike the classical states, uh, classical gates where you cannot get uh, the input states from the output states, but in the quantum states, you can get back and by applying different, uh, of course, different uh, gates and different operations to it. But in case of Hadmard gate, it is so special because if you apply the Hadmard gate on a particular state, you will get some output state. And if you apply Hadmard gate again onto that, you will get input state. That's it, the two step operation to get from state input state uh, A to again input state A. So for example, you uh, you are in the current state a you apply Hadmard gate to it so it will be in the state b and you again apply Hadmard gate to it so again it will be into state a so these two states are same this way if you apply so think on it when you apply Hadmard gate on the state zero you have got output as plus superposition state now when you apply Hadmard gate on the plus, you should get your zero state back, right? So mathematically, we are going to prove this. So you are applying Hadmard gate onto state plus, super, uh, plus which is superposition state. So similarly, this uh, Hadmard gate two will get applied to zero and one. Now again, Hadmard on zero will be, this is the plus state and again, this is the minus state. So if you can see mathematically, these ones will get cancelled out in this case so here this one and this one will get cancelled out which is uh, because uh, this is the destructive interference where opposite relative phases got cancelled out and your um, your uh, uh, the, hence you only you have uh, remaining with zero states having one by two and one by two amplitudes which will add up to your zero state which is the original state and that is the special property of Hermann gate as well. Now, the exercise for you guys is to try it out, Hadmart, uh, applying Hermann gate on minus, you should get back state one. So this is the exercise, please go ahead and uh, try this out. Now, on the block spare, how Hadmart gate works is, uh, there, there are two steps to get the output uh, of uh, any particular state uh, to Hadmart state on the block square. First, what it will do, uh, it will basically uh, along the z-axis, it will rotate uh, the state to pi, you know, pi radians, and then along the y-axis, it will rotate it to uh, pi by two radians. 
and that is how on the block sphere also you can see the output of um, uh, output of the head might get applying on a uh, initial any initial state so this is it about the head might get uh, and i hope you have got a clear picture about the superposition from this video we are going to discuss more on more on it on the upcoming videos so i hope you like this video if yes then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and whoever is uh, entering into the quantum computers or whoever wants to uh, learn about it so uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you in the next one